thank you so much for joining us. Um, so this new series is called Pivotal. It's how um, businesses are um, pivoting their business to go um, more online. Um, even if the business was already starting online, um, this is you know a new era of e-commerce. And that's exactly why I'm so excited to talk to Hannah today from Bottle Barn in Santa Rosa. So tell me about yourself and what, what do you do at Bottle Barn? So I do marketing and e-commerce for Bottle Barn, which is quite a combo when you think about it. But it's really great because it's a great way to tie in a lot of the strategic marketing efforts that need to happen with e-commerce, while also including all the marketing aspects as well. Um, I started at the Bottle Barn like two years ago, specifically for this purpose, and they didn't have any online e-commerce at the time, so that was really what I was brought on for. Um, I had worked in the past for other liquor startups and had gotten my foot into the wine industry a few years back and then realized that I wanted to transition to the business side instead of the winemaking side. So having studied communications, it was the perfect opportunity to build something for this small local business that really had the, the reach and the ability to grow a nationwide brand. So very cool. Okay. So e-commerce um, has been going on for about two years at Bottle Barn. I didn't even know that. Like I, I know well, we didn't officially launch till November, 2018. Okay. So not quite two years, but yeah, it's brand new. Okay. Very cool. So, um, I mean, I know, you know, this is a loaded question, but how are you doing and how is Bottle Barn doing right now? Yeah. So I'm doing okay. The team is doing okay. Obviously it's not ideal. It's not an ideal situation for anyone. We would love for the, the physical store to be open to be able to at least continue serving our customers um, through there, but it is really great that we had this started beforehand because even if it wasn't necessarily what we needed it to be, it was better than nothing. So having an e-commerce platform at all really gave us a good advantage, I think. Um, and we've been able to keep on a lot of our stuff, which is remarkable for the industry. So, um, you know, we're doing the best we can and we've been really slammed with orders, which is great. And a major thing that we had to do, because when we first launched, the concept was to only have like 30 or 50 wines online, just like the curated best of the best. Uh -huh. We realized that we're in the barn and people want us for the massive selection that we have. So we've been adding products constantly, but in the past you know month, we've really, really wrapped that up. So now we've got not certainly our full inventory, but at least over a thousand products um, online for customers to shop through. And our team's getting out orders as fast as they can. So that... we're doing that. And also at the same time, installing a new point of sale system because, you know, we have a 30 year old store that has been price gunning and tagging everything. I love beginning. it. So once we have that, we'll really be able to get everything online. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you've definitely taken, um, you know, kind of an old school model of just the traditional um, retail environment and brought it online. I love it. Uh, so you have thousands of SKUs online? Almost. Okay. I mean, at least a single thousand. Okay. In four we have, that, I mean, at least, you know, four or five thousand. We don't count. That's the thing. We're installing the system so that we can actually have those numbers and have that data but it's, it's a lot and we are individually adding them all. So it takes a good amount of time. So yeah. where, where do you guys ship to then? How does that work? Nationwide. So for wine, we can ship everywhere except for, I want to say a few seven, states. states. Yeah. And for spirits, it's only within California. Here we haven't added online yet because there are certain stipulations with some brands about temperature control. Oh, so okay. that we're only doing through Drizzly and very, very locally. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just realized I was drinking a, out of um, my moonlight cup. Nice. <laughs> cup. Great pint great. glass. Um, yeah. Local. Awesome business. Okay. So what has, I mean, other than, you know, focus online, um, what else has your business done to pivot now that you're not able to have customers in store? Are you guys doing curbside pickup or is it just delivery? So right now it's just delivery. Before this all started, we actually did have curbside pickup and um, in-store pickup. But since this all started, we realized that if we did want to get truly all of our products online, 
the only way to keep our inventory straight was to, you know, have everything in one place and set in a centralized system. So that's why we're installing the POI system. So that should go live mid-May, and then we should be able to do curbside pickup. But until then, um, we've really ramped up our Drizzly offering. So that's within a few miles of the store. Obviously, not all of Sonoma County, mm -hmm. but that will do same-day delivery from 11 to 4. And then uh, for shipping, of course, you know, statewide, especially for local. So what we did to try to help cut down on costs for people this time is um, initially we had had this offer for free shipping, but that expired at the end of March. But what we realized we could do was just cut down on prices site-wide. So now for locals, it's actually cheaper even without free shipping. Oh, good to know. Okay. Uh, very cool. Um, so, you know, obviously um, right now, social media is uh, really important for any brand to connect with their audience. Um, what are you guys, are you guys doing anything different on social or just more of the same, but I don't know, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so more of the same, but also we've seen a lot more engagement just across the board on all platforms, which is great. So because of that, and because people are constantly reaching out to see, you know, what's going on, we're doing a lot more just transparent updates and honesty about like where we are and connecting more with customers one-on-one, -on -one, you know, responding to all messages and all comments, just being uh, as helpful as we can for people who are looking for that one wine that they just ran out of, that they really want more of all in shelter in place. So it's just been a really great opportunity, I think, to connect in a more personal way with customers, even though they can't be in the store. I, I'm definitely seeing that across the board, um, more engagement, more questions. And, um, I'm going to be honest, I've asked questions to brands and if they don't respond, I'm going somewhere else. Obviously, you know, you have to give some time, but, um, <laughs> but I appreciate, um, any brand that, um, you know, responds back to people on social or email or anything like that, because, you know, your customers are going to be the ones that are there for you that want to help you and you create long-term loyalty. And I love that about, that's what I've always loved about Bottle Barn because you go in there and you feel like you're being taken care of. Yeah. So. And we really do want that to transit online. I mean, we wouldn't be anything without the community. So we're not going to, you know, leave them hanging at this time. That's good. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it sounds like when, um, you know, whatever you guys are allowed to have people back in, you're going to continue doing what you're doing more, um, having it online. Um, are you guys going to do anything differently or are you going to just go back to, you know, business as normal? <laughs> so I think it'll be normal, but in Proved, you know, with installing this new POS system, we're going to be able to do things like curbside all year round, and we're going to be able to offer essentially our full inventory online, at least to locals, you know, including things like um, mixers and, and other things that they can actually pick up at the store. So I think in a sense, it'll be an even better opportunity for customers because then they can really choose to shop with us in whatever way they're most comfortable. You know, this isn't just going to go away overnight. So I think as we start to see that transition, people will stay more comfortable with shopping online, but also maybe take advantage of some of these new opportunities that didn't exist before. Very cool. Um, how much are you guys using um, email to connect with customers? I mean, email has always been huge. Um, this is one of the things I think that people should really be aware of when they're starting brands. You've got to start your, that email list early and keep them engaged. Uh, luckily, we had a couple lists going early on, but we weren't really sending out things super frequently. So we have continued to build the email list since starting the online store and are sending out updates um, now weekly. In the beginning, it wasn't because we were so overwhelmed, but now we're sending out updates and offers, lots of like interesting lines that we get really good deals on by email. So yeah, I think, to be. I think email could be even more important for you guys, especially when it comes to, you know, a... Uh, small, like a small inventory of wine that, you know, you know, might sell out very quickly, letting people know right away. Ah, I love it. That's exciting. Um, is there anything else, like even over the past two years, is there anything that you've learned along the way that you might want to, um, you know, tell people about either warn them or get them excited about something? <laughs> I think in the beginning we were just so focused on the design elements of it and just you know getting the products on there and kind of like seeing the functionality of it but we should have definitely started earlier on with focusing on um, seo optimization and google ads i think those two we've definitely stepped up 
the work that we've done with them in the past year um, and seen a really big impact. So whatever you can do to actually structure your website to be more SEO friendly and also create the ads that are specifically geared to drive um, conversions, you got to do it. It's worth the money. Yeah, I can, I can attest to that. Absolutely. Um, especially, you know, the idea of thinking like an e-commerce brand, it's, it's a whole different mindset almost. Um, and I'm glad that they brought you on because I think you've, you know, even with the events that you guys have done, um, I discovered because of Bottle Barn, I discovered what type of rosé I like. I thought I liked all rosé. I was wrong. <laughs> I discovered, yeah, I just assume because I would always taste rosés, um, you know, on their own and they're pretty good. But then um, when you guys started doing an events where you would get a bunch of rosé producers all in one room, I uh, found that I like really dry rosés. So now Banshee is one of my favorites. Oh, so good. Yes. We just sent an email about that today. Yeah, it's. It's good to know going into summer. <laughs> uh, good to know. Maybe I'll have to go on your website and buy some. Um, in fact, I bought wine for the very first time a few days ago. I've yeah. never had to buy wine online because I, <laughs> I, I never, I, it wasn't like because I didn't want to. I bought lots of things online, but just not wine. So, right. you know, right now I, I like. Experience. And I think a lot of people are saying the same thing. You know, they've never had to try it, but now that they are, you know, it's convenient. It works well. So we'll see very, what happens after. Very cool. Okay. So, you know, what's next for you guys? I mean, I I don't know if anyone knows. You know, it's a day by day thing, but definitely uh, getting that point of sale system installed will be huge. And then after that, I think eventually we'd really love to start our sort of own delivery service, you know, for locals, because we are shipping through FedEx, it's pretty expensive, you know, it adds up quickly. So if we can get our own delivery service, at least for within a few miles of the store, we could cut down again for, you know, those living in the Sonoma County area. Very cool. I'm excited to see everything that you guys have going on, especially when it comes to potential for beer later on. Because because you can't buy beer online, and now it's finally maybe gonna happen. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Frost. If we can keep that temperature down while delivering, it's gonna happen. That makes that totally makes sense, though. Uh, but yeah, that's the one thing I've always wanted to see breweries, you know, from especially some of my favorites from the East Coast, um, ship. But I'm we'll see. Know. Someday. Something. Well, thank you so much. I'm excited uh, about this new kind of series um, and it'll be online in a little bit. So yeah, no, this is great. Thanks so much for having me, Shana, and best of luck with everything. This is a good idea. I'm excited to see where it goes. Thank you.